Nikolic family albums. There appear to be as many Nikolic's in Little Crucia as there are Sweeney's in Donegal. Our second break, a handful of Serb home videos. With a bit of luck, our suspects might have starring roles. Our third break. Nikolic Serba. Serba Nikolic. The Serbs were outnumbered 10 to 1 in Kosovo. They were the ones with the firepower. Here's the uniform. Nearly every Serb man and boy in the village was armed and mobilized in the local militia. The Serb militia were careless. They left this behind. It looks like a scruffy exercise book, but it's material evidence. In it are a series of names of soldiers who were on guard in Little Crucia after the massacre. Amongst the names are two that are becoming all too familiar, Sveta Tasic and Sava Nikolic. And there's another find, a duty rotor, another item of material evidence. It's astonishing they've left this behind. This list identifies 24 names, making up three militia platoons in Little Crucia. Some we know have form. The document places all 24 men on militia duty in the village. All of these men know something about the clean-up operation. Some of them know something about the murders. All are suspects now. As we press on with our inquiry, every day more refugees are returning from exile in Albania. This is the homecoming of the women of the Batusha family. After two days on the road, they're almost there. This is Nan Batusha, the matriarch of the family. The last she saw of her three sons and five grandsons was when she was forced out of Little Crucia at the point of a gun. The last thing the Batusha women heard was the sound of gunfire. They cling to the faint hope that their men are not dead, but held captive somewhere in Serbia. Just 14, and Buren, 
was mentally disabled. They were murdered all the same. There's no hope. This man was one of the few to escape from the bonfire of the dead. We found him for the previous film in April, in hiding in Albania. Mehmet Krasnici is a survivor of the Haybarn murder and a crucial witness for the prosecution. Now he's back in Little Crucia. Maybe he can help me. I'd taken a pile of photographs from the Serb houses. I began with a list of four suspects. Now I've got 24. But are any of these mugshots of the men I'm looking for? The next step is to get Mehmet and Shamil together to identify the lineup. Mm -hmm. Mansilla Nikolic. Zvezda Nikolic. Sveta Tasić Krstan Kriosava Nikolić He was the first to shoot at us as our families were heading for the mountains Sava shot at us from his house Now we can put faces to names Sava Nikolić His comrade in arms, Sveta Tasic. Their friend and neighbor, Mumchila Nikolic. And his uncle, Dmitri Nikolic. Now we know what the men on our wanted list look like, we can start to track them down. But what exactly is the evidence against them? Now it's time to look at the Nikolic home videos I discovered in the Serb houses. The last thing I expected was a Serb version of Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Still less a man in a skirt. <laughs> it isn't easy for Shamil and Mehmet to watch the men who'd murdered their loved ones. But maybe the videos can provide some clues as to where the Nikolic's are now. <laughs> Dmitry Nikolic in white, the life and soul of the party, and a party to mass murder. Dmitry's betrayal is an epic one. For all his adult life, he worked alongside Shamil in the local wine factory. I've shared the same loaf of bread with them for the last 38 years. I used to visit those pigs. I stayed with them. I had meals with them. We drank together. Dimitri was given the honor of Kumar, the cutting of the hair of the firstborn son, by Mehmet's family. They never expected that Dimitri would turn against them. He was, after all,